Boom, P Centro. What's up, guys? How's it going? A little more updating. I got a package in from our buddy Steven over at uh, Miniature Mustangs. We'll check that out. And I finished that other dragster, which I like. It rolls like it should. Let me see here. Woo. Woo. That's how they should roll. I like that a lot better. Now, I have a solid axle in the front, so they don't tilt no more. Which, um, you know, it is true tilting. Uh, old school mentioned in there, old, them old dragsters like that, they did tow like that. Which helped them, it kind of helped them to get down the, the track back in the day. But, you know, like this one. Which, you know, that wasn't my problem with it. I don't have a problem with that. Matter of fact, I don't even mind that. I think it looks pretty cool like that. But what I don't like is the front, one of the front ones, the 3D print is off just a little. Or maybe it, it got flexed, but you can see that wheel. See it? It's kicked out. So that makes it not function well. I mean it. But you see, it wants to, it wants to, go, it wants to go crooked. It wants to go off to that side because of that wheel. Still a good-looking uh, dragster. I like it. But um, but this one, it it, it rolls perfectly because, like I said, I did that solid axle all the way through the front. <laughs> she came out pretty nice looking. Better keep my finger on her. And. Uh, Uh, so anybody wants that, just let me know. I think uh, everybody decided on 55. I had a few people say 60, but I think the majority of you said 55. So, you know, that'll, that's good enough. Like I said, it's about $20 in parts, guys. Maybe a little more. But it's it's really not a whole lot of work. Most of it is be very careful if you build one of those from die cat or from uh, Benchworks Toys. I would suggest putting a solid axle through there. I have itty bitty little, um, I have a 30 second basically 0.794, but I, I, I mainly get it up to one sixteenth and I'm sorry, one millimeter, not one sixteenth. Um, one millimeter is what I like to get it up to for the axle to go through freely. But it, I think that works a lot better. So we have that going on. And then, uh, this I'm going to wait till this weekend, guys. All of the t stickers are sold out. So I got four cars we're giving away this weekend. Um, I don't even, oh yeah, the 32 Ford Coupe, the blue RLC, which was an RLC, the blue RLC truck. The Michael Myers truck and the 62 Chevy um, all going this weekend. I figure I'll wait till the weekend. And also, there were some of you guys wanted this. Wanted to buy some of these. And um, which, sorry guys, but these these would be a hundred bucks. I mean, honestly, you, the Michael Myers, getting him and putting him inside of it's ten bucks. And, um, you know, and, and then, you know, it's just a basically that's where they're at but i anyway i got and then you got the the pumpkin thing she can't get them now hhw customs is moving so he's not printing anything till like january to some new i don't know if he's moving all of his stuff's packed up i contacted him and um but i got three more pumpkin deals so luckily i was able to get what he had left and i had one so I have three of those. I have three Michael Myers and Mod My Ride got me the decals I wanted. So I have, I actually have four sets of the decals, but I can only build three trucks. So, and I believe I have three of the engines. Um, if not, I'll get a hold of Rodney at RD Customs and buy some from him. So anyway, I can only do three guys. Anybody that still wants one of them trucks, 
get a hold of me. I know Jake over at Strictly Diecast said he wanted one. I think it was 55 Gasser. I don't know. But I mean, I know people change their minds. So this is your heads up. I've only got three. Anybody wants their dibs on it, let me know. I'll mark those decals as yours and those parts. I've only got, I've actually got four Michael Myers. But I, I don't, I could do four trucks, but I don't have the pumpkin. So I, I can only do three trucks, guys, like that. And uh, I have the wheels. I have everything except I only have enough of the pumpkins to do three trucks. So let me know. And then um, I have almost got them lifted trucks done. Those will be going. I had, I think Mr. Bonacore asked for the Ford. I'm not sure because um, these are a lot of work too, guys. These are pretty nice. They're probably going to be $100 trucks. But um, I've got, oh, I believe this one is the Ford. i got the Ford base done. There's the engine for the Ford. I'm just waiting for clear to dry on the bodies. Um, and then I've got the Chevy. Um, I stuck a tranny in the back, like I said, with a ratchet strap. I made a ratchet strap. I was actually going to do a chain, a real small chain, but our buddy Jono from Diecast Works was watching uh, one of the videos and he left a comment, which I don't think I answered, but I did see it because it went it went to my email and um, said, you ought to make a ratchet strap. And I was like, you know what? I could do that. And I did. I put a little handle on it and everything. A little, a little brass handle on the straps. So... That'll go in the back of the Ford. And then I, I done an engine for the back of the Chevy with a ratchet strap. Ratchet strap is on the hooks. I got to put the hooks into the bed. But I put the ratchet strap on it too with the handle, you know, the chicka 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 that you use. And uh, I'll put this one in the bed of the Chevy. And... Um, but anyway, so let me know if any of you guys, I only made one each of those. One Chevy and one Ford. I'll show them when they're done. And then I'm working on three Candy Striper 62 Corvette Gasser Customs that people were asking about. I've got one mocked up. I'll show you here. Um, so if anybody's interested... I don't have the pipes on it yet, but they'll go. But I'm only I'm only doing three. I don't have. Uh, they're <laughs> they're a lot of work, guys. Just doing three. I'll show you in a second. To make all that go in there, and that's as low as I can get it to make it look right, which I like it like that. First one I did, I got it. Look at that. Ooh, it looks good. I made my base just a little too tall. Those are motor mounts you got to stick out there. And my thing, my car was high in the air. I I liked it, but not as much. You'd be surprised what an eighth inch does on that scale. So I took her down another eighth inch, and I think she looks just fine. And uh, let's look at that back again. <coughs> Whoa! Glad I caught that. Hold on, guys. These 3D parts are very fragile. If it hits the ground, it's most likely done. Hold on, guys. I don't have my... These axles, you got to put together afterwards. So I don't... I just got them kind of stabbed in there until I get all that stuff painted because there's the bottom. That's what you got to do to the bottom to get all that in there, line it up. So I paint all that stuff before I stick my axles on but look at that is that not 
See, I don't like butchered stuff, guys. That looks as professional as I can make it. Cross member going across. I don't have the pipes on because I usually put them on last, but they will go. But um, anyway, let me set this back up there. But that's what you got to do to the base. But yeah, I just got the wheels sitting there because, like I said, I don't secure them until after I paint all that stuff. And I'm only doing three of these. And they're in the candy striper. I have candy striper actual decals for the 62 vet. They're not something I'm taking from the 55 and chopping down. They're made for the 62 vet. Yeah, see, I got that wheel not all the way in there. And uh, so I'm only doing three of them, guys. So anybody wants to put their dib in on that, let me know. You know, get, call. You know, if you want to call one, let me know. If you want to, if everybody wants to wait till I'm done, that's fine too. I don't care. You know, maybe nobody even wants them, but um, I'm going to make them because I know I have had some people ask, and um, I. I didn't just customize what it was because honestly guys I don't like this engine I don't like the looks of any of that I mean sure you could go ahead and paint it up and leave it but the more I use these 3d printed things the more I just cannot stand these things here but you know I realize there'll be some people that maybe you know hey could you just do me one you know can you just do me one, um, you know, regular up, you know, and, you know, that's fine if that's what you want to do, but, um, but it just doesn't look as good to me. See that? I just don't think it, it needs to be, I like, I like how this looks boosted up like that. I think it just looks gnarly. And it's going to look good as the candy striper. But anyway, that engine don't look good or anything. It's just, but it's cool. But, um, yeah, I got three of them to do. I don't know. I keep these things, and I use them to, I put lacquer thinner in there. And then when I use my brushes, just a few drops, I clean off my brushes. And then once they're bad, just throw it in the trash. Grab you another one. I got a whole stack of them. They work perfectly. And uh, so anyway... I got those going on, guys. Anybody's interested, let me know. I'll put your names on them first come, you know, first dibs. If not, that's cool, too. Here's what I do. There's what base. Here, there's my first base. You have, to, you have to figure these things out if you want them to work right. But like I said, it was too tall. I didn't like it. So, and see, I, I drill and put a cross member in there afterwards. And then you got motor mounts that got to come out and grab the side of the engine. But anyway, I, I make a template. Same thing I'll do with my 55s. Um, like that Try Me. I made that one. I got to make some more. And I got some candy stripers that are going to be done the same way. I'll make a template and keep it. And this will be, this is my template for my 62. So what you do is you'll lay that on another piece. Trace it out with a pencil. Cut it out with your coping saw. And uh, you can use your knife if you want to. But that little, that saw makes quick work of it. And then that gets you going. Then of course, you got a you got a lot of cutting to do on the body. You know, you need to cut the front off, but keep enough of it as you seen there, so I could screw it on. The front piece still screws on. It'll glue to the wheel assembly. The wheel assembly holds it to the back piece. The back piece glues on, and it screws in. That way, I could still screw my whole base together. And. Uh, so you cut the back piece off, put it on, you know, there's a lot of things. And then you got these little shims you got to put on the front piece because the interior tilts up. So you need to put that on there to shim it. And then, like I said, afterwards, I haven't even got to the interior. That comes next, but you'll have to put a, a tunnel over that. Otherwise, you'll see it when you look inside. So, yeah, I make templates for that. And... Uh, uh, I think it just does better that way. Yeah, when you see these things side by side, you can you can really tell the difference here. Uh, 
I don't know. Sorry guys, you're probably sick of watching already. Let's see if I can get this up there and not drop it. I mean, just look at that. Now that looks more like a gasser to me. Pretty cool, I think. <clears throat> Again, tooting my own horn. But, uh, so anyway, guys, let me know anybody wants to get first call on those things. And, uh, um, what I have noticed is it's hard to find those wheels, big wheels like this anymore. And that's almost what you got to use. My other little ones that I use on my gassers <clears throat> all the time, the ones that that I don't lift up high like that, you know, they're just too small. They don't look anesthetically pleasing. So I have to use bigger wheels and those things are getting hard to find, guys. Very hard to find. And uh, that's why when I find those things, I buy up whatever. And uh, so I don't, I don't have very many sets of those. I have enough to do these three gassers here. And I think I only have two sets left after that. Um, they're just too hard to find. And, and even those have gone up. You can get five of them shipped to you if you can find them, usually for 30 bucks. So that's six bucks a set. And uh, you know, it is what it is. You got to pay what you got to pay to get them. But I don't. I haven't been able to find any lately. So anyway, that's why they're getting big wheels on the back. I, I like them other wheels, I but they just, they don't look at right on the back of them when you lift them up like that. So anyway, that's what we got going on there, guys. So let me know about any of that. Let me know about the, uh, um, Sorry, I just had a text. I just had a text. Um, ain't been working. Uh, here, a day here, a day there. I'll tell you, this administration, people can say what they want. Biden blows kahunas. He has destroyed this whole country. All them Democrats have. I, I hope they lose the, the House, the Senate, and everything, and watch how things will go back. They just, they, they are anti-American as anything. They have just destroyed us. And, and the only people suffering are the middle class, man. Rich people don't feel this, and poor people don't really feel it. And when I say poor, it, okay, it's not just the middle class. I know I'm going on a little tangent here for a second, but this pisses me off, all right? And it's stupid people that vote Democrat, you're you're effing stupid, all right? Pay attention to what's going on. Now, now, I do know some people that don't work. They don't do nothing. They live off welfare. They sit around on their lazy ass all the time and do nothing. They don't see anything wrong. They don't, they're not missing a lick. They still got their free cable TV. They got everything. They don't notice anything wrong with the country. Middle class like me are getting hammered and tore down. Homelessness is up 20%, guys. 20% in the past two years. Look it up. Where do you think that came from? That came from destroying the middle class. And, and it's us that's becoming homeless. Now, people got separate by poor, middle class, and rich. But there's also another class. That's that class of homeless or people that are on welfare at the bottom because they have to be and they're fighting and struggling to try to get by and and take care of themselves and maybe become middle class whatever that plate they're, they're getting destroyed too everything's just snatched right out of them so anyway that's what's going on I, so anyway i i that was from my work i guess my kid was there for a few hours this morning and 
wanted to grab my what little check I have coming. I said, sure. But yeah, they're just destroying us. This is, it's so ridiculous how people can't see that. And and why? Why? Why would you be for Ukraine or for any anybody but your own damn country? Why would you do that? You know, I, I don't care. I am so sick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick of hearing about Ukraine. I'm sick of it. Using them to fight our to fight Russia. That's all we're doing. Why are we why are we funding all that? We got people here in America losing everything. I'm just so disgusted with it. I don't want to hear another thing about Ukraine. I could care less about Ukraine. Sorry, maybe my sub count's gonna leave now, but I don't care. I'm an American. American first, man. All of us over here, we're just getting destroyed. Gonna become homeless if you don't do anyway. Anyway. Sorry about that, but that's the fact. Anybody who doesn't think so is a plum idiot. Anyway, hopefully we get back to normal. So, let me know about all them cars now. I probably just scared everybody off, but sorry. I'm not going to pretend to be somebody I'm not. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm stupid so you guys will like me. I'm not stupid. This wasn't going on. I've been at this place 20 years. Biden's came along and destroyed this place in the past two. It's, it's pathetic. And look at them on COVID. They now admit it was all a crock. What all of us, doctors and everybody, tried to tell all the sheep out there that it's a crock. No, they, they, they censored us, shut us all down, including doctors. People with degrees in medicine shut them down because they weren't saying what they wanted them to say. What are they doing now? They're admitting they were full of shit. Yes, I said shit. They were full of it. And they're admitting it. And think about what they just did to the world over that. Anyway. I shouldn't even get started on this. Anyway. I've been home for a few days because of this crap. I hope the House and the Senate go back to the Republicans. So maybe some things will change. Get some work back. Because almost every one of our jobs that are on hold is because of the economy. Because we do have work. They just won't cut loose with it because of the economy. Anyway, let's see what Steve has sent us here. Oh, that's right. He told me he was going to send me that. That's awesome. I was wanting that. I ain't been able to find it either. He sent me the 2-pack 66 Chevelle and the Talladega Torino. That Chevelle is just awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that is cool. Have not been able to find it. Of course, I collect the whole set, so I'll be looking for the other two. The Lambos are probably my least favorite, but they're cool, too. I got to have them. This is my favorite. I'm, I'm glad I got this one. This is it. This is the ticket. I love that baby. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that, Steve. Miniature Mustangs. Like something else down here. Uh oh, looks like I might have another shirt. I wear that first shirt he sent me all the time. Oh, cool. Got a couple more stickers. Miniature Mustang stickers. Sweet. Cool. Sorry, guys. Hope I didn't run you guys off with my little tangent, but like I said, man, I am who I am. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit or crap. Oh, sweet. It's another one of those. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now, I just got one of these in the mail, and uh, I was wondering if, if Steve signed me up for that or something because uh, I haven't, I don't know why I just randomly got one in the mail. But anyway, that's cool. It's a pretty thick catalog, too. And then another shirt. What we got going on here? Is it the same thing again? It is. It's another one of the same shirts. In black. Sweet. I'll get the sleeves off that baby and start wearing that one, too. I wear that green one all the time, man. Thanks, Steve. I was going to give you a shirt, send you one of my shirts, but... 
I only have extra large, buddy, and I, I you're I'm sure you said you was six foot. You're you're probably you're you're at least double XL, maybe maybe triple XL. I don't know. I don't know what size shirt you are. But um I don't have any uh to send you. But um I do have somebody's gonna make me some shirts. Some of uh says Hewitt Hot Wheels and then on the back says boom piece intro whatever and it's got my new channel logo on it um this one in the center of it um supposed to make me some of those heck give me your size and uh i i'm get one put in there because uh because i can order them as i want them i don't have to uh buy two thousand dollars worth of shirts like i did last time so um which I only have a few left. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me know that. And I'll, when I get her to make me some shirts, I'll get a double XL or triple XL, whatever it is, and uh, go from there. So anyway, guys, uh, that's what's going on. Um, I'll try to let everybody know when the rest of this stuff is ready. I'll do a video on it. This weekend, we're going to give away those four cars hopefully um, you know good luck to all you guys whoever gets it congratulations and maybe saturday sunday one of those days i don't know the video will go up and uh so there we go i guess i'm gonna get back to work try to get these trucks put together well i gotta let the clear dry all day so i probably won't put the trucks together till tomorrow um it's one it's one thing if all you got to do is set the body on there and screw it, but I got some handling I got to do. I got, you know, I got little, you know, like I got to put that engine in the back of one. I got stuff to do like that, so I don't want my fingers all over it until I know it's not going to leave prints. So there you go, guys. Let me know anybody wants to, anybody's interested in the new dragster. Um, or anybody wants to, uh, oh, what's going on there? I need to get that off of there before that falls. That would not be good. Um, and let me know about the Halloween trucks. Anybody's wanting the Halloween trucks? Because I'm only making three. And these Candy Striper 62 Vets. So... I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Outro.